Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm going to be doing the February Family Weeding Crate unboxing. This month's theme was science fiction that has nothing to do with space. So let's look inside and see what you get in the crate. Every month you get a booklet and this gives you discussion questions and rabbit trail ideas, a link that will take you to our website where you can get a free, free printables and recommended resources and other books and all those things. This is really great to kind of help you tie this together into a unit study should you want to. You also get custom bookmarks and these are designed by my son. So this is one side, it's the two robots reading together. The other bookmark goes along with one of the books. It has dinosaur chasing some children. And then we also threw in an extra bookmark and this is the one my daughter designed with her favorite literary pigs. And the fun item this month, because we do have a book that has to do with dinosaurs, I kind of wanted to work with that since I figured that would be the thing kids would enjoy the most. And I found these cute little dinosaur tracers. There's six to a box and you get a bunch of different dinosaurs and you can trace them and I just thought that would be fun. Okay, so now let's get into the books. The picture book this month is Power Down Little Robot by Anna Stanisuski. And this is adorable. It's a picture book. Basically, it's a bedtime story, but instead of the child not wanting to go to bed and arguing with the mother, it's a little robot arguing with his robot mom. So there's a whole lot of robot language, and it's just cute. It's a great bedtime story. The read aloud for this month is Edge of Extinction, The Arc Plan by Laura Martin. And this story was so much fun. This is a dystopian future. It's sort of what I read about it initially. It said Jurassic Park for kids. It is exactly Jurassic Park for kids. Basically, the premise in this novel is that in this future world, 150 years before our story begins, scientists brought dinosaurs back to life initially as to this just kind of novel fun thing. Like, we can do this, so why not? And then because our environment today isn't what it was in the time of the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs grew much, much bigger. And they began to take over the world and humans had to go into these bunkers to survive. So when our story begins, we find our main character, Skye, living in this bunker underground. And I don't want to go too much into detail on the plot because this is one of those sort of twisty turny stories that the more, the less you know going in, the more fun the story is. So just know this is very exciting. Dinosaurs, it is Jurassic Park for kids. and. I, I've enjoyed this so much that I got myself a copy and I got a copy of the sequel so I could read them with my daughter because she really loves dinosaurs and I thought she would enjoy this series. So I hope you have fun with this. The book for older readers this month is Eye of the Storm by Kate Messner. This is a story about a near future where the climate has gotten to the point where giant storms have become normal, where you have massive tornadoes and hurricanes all the time and the world is too dangerous for people to just go outside or do regular things like kids can't ride bikes because it's too dangerous you could get caught in a storm and every house has a storm shelter and so in this world we meet our main character Aiden whose father works for the government he's a meteorologist he works on like tracking storms and he's working on these projects where he could learn how to try to stop the storms from happening. And Jaden's really into meteorology and she goes to this elite summer camp. They learn all these different things about meteorology and botany and things. And she wants to learn how to cr stop the storms from happening. And she goes to live with her father in this weird neighborhood where storms never come there and she doesn't understand why. And you get to go on this journey with her and find out more 
And I can't go into more detail because, again, this is a really twisty-turny story and it was so much fun to read. I loved all the science-y aspects of it, how it's it's science fiction because it's in the future and you see some future technology stuff that we don't have, but it's like near future and it's just, it's a really fun story. And the book I chose for you, the parent, is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. I've had this on my bookshelf for a while. I've been wanting to pick it up. And so when I realized I could get it through our distributor for the crates, I got really excited because this would give me an excuse to finally pick this up. And I am so glad that I did. This book was fun. This is a dystopian world where this plague has caused turmoil in the world. And this plague is the worst thing you could ever imagine. This plague is called the Hydra virus. And if you catch it, it causes every single one of your cells to explode and you become this mist. That's what this picture is on the cover. You basically explode in a mist of in this cloud and anyone nearby who is close enough to be in this cloud gets infected and I believe it has like a one mile radius. So everyone within a mile of you will now catch your illness. And you get this thing called the wrath where if you smell a sick person, it like causes you to kind of go crazy and you bite them basically. And that gives you a, a brief amount of immunity. So it's super sick. And I, I just, I love that. I don't know if that's too crazy for you, but I thought this was excellent. And the main character in this story is Katerina Agata, whose, whose father is a world-renowned geneticist and in this world too not only do you have this crazy virus you also have this ability to alter their genetics you can change your genes so that you could change your hair color you can create your you can give yourself different eye colors you can do all these things people have all these mutations because they can if you want a tail you can grow a tail and her father is a world-renowned geneticist and He's tasked with finding a way to stop this plague and creating a vaccine. It's a wild ride. I had so much fun reading this. I immediately bought the sequel because I need to know what happens next. It's, this book was excellent and I can't wait to read more by Emily Suvada in the future. That is what you'll get in the February family reading crate. We do still have several crates left so I will leave information in the description down below where you can purchase your own crate and learn more and I hope to see you guys again next month because I am so excited for next month's theme. I have been wanting to do this theme for forever and I just I couldn't make it work and I finally can and I'm so excited because March the March box is going to be Axis and Allies, World War II in literature, and I am stoked. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Happy reading. Bye.